All right, everyone. Good morning and welcome to our long coffee break. My name is Jeff Rodell. I'm here with Chris Burke. Uh, today, we're going to discuss air curtains. Uh, manufacturers Mars. As you can see there, atmosphere is everything. Uh, so again, I'm Jeff Rodell. Chris Burke is my co-host. Chris, why don't you go ahead and introduce and say hi to everyone, please. Thanks, Jeff. As, as Jeff mentioned, my name is Chris Burke. I'm the VP of sales for Mars Air Systems. And I just want to take this time and thank everybody for their for the the invite and partnering with Long uh, to talk to you today about air curtains and really air curtain technology, um, where we came, where we are, and where we're going. For those of you who that are not who are not familiar with Mars, we've been in business since 1962. Really, an industry leader in the space. All manufacturing, all production is out of Gardena, California, which is still considered Los Angeles, California. Made in the US, we're proud of that. Really an industry leader, again, in this space. Our core competency is air curtain technology. We used to have a makeup airline. We sold that off um, really to focus on, again, air curtains and, and really facilitating changes. We're very active facilitating changes with baseline energy code, which I'm gonna talk about in, in, in baseline construction code. All right, uh, Chris, why don't you just, uh, I'm gonna briefly go over the topics for everyone and then I'm gonna have you kind of go over what an air curtain is briefly. So today we'll talk about how an air curtain actually works, what the different benefits are, the CFD simulations that we have to offer, ROI, and then any kind of alternative to a, a vestibule space saving. And then finally, there's a new clean air series with all the concerns with various viruses floating around the world today. Uh, Mars has really stepped up their game and developed some new product to uh, combat that. So Chris, can you kind of just run through what an air curtain is for everyone real quick? Absolutely, Jeff, thank you. As Jeff mentioned, again, we've, we've come a long way. So our traditional air curtain, for those of you who are, who are not familiar with air curtain technology and how they work, AMCA's broad definition of an air curtain is a directionally controlled airstream that spans the entire height and width of the opening uh, to separate environments, okay, to improve sanitation levels, improve uh, safety levels, lowering uh, cooling and, and heating costs, uh, supporting quality controls. Air is a great insulator, okay? So we're using air to separate obviously in environments. It could be exterior environments. It could be interior environments. Um, typically we're mounted on the inside, the conditioned side. So we're raising the velocity of that air, that conditioned air, okay, through the intake, as you can see here, that perforated uh, grill. And we're, we're raising that velocity up through a series of fans and motors that span the entire width of that opening and discharging a coherent sheet of air uh, with, with really probably 90, 90, 95% uniformity across the entire discharge. I like to dummy it down and say an air curtain keeps the good stuff in <laughs> and it keeps the bad stuff out. And that's the purpose of an air curtain. And I'm going to touch a little bit on the energy side uh, of, of, of the air curtain. And really that's where our focus is, is going and, and it really has been. All right. Thank you for the quick refresher on an air curtain. Um, why don't we talk about some of those benefits? Here's an example of a CFD simulation that you put together for us. So if you could just briefly talk about this slide, let us know what's going on here. Yeah, seeing is believing, uh, Jeff, and air is invisible, correct? So yeah. it's kind of hard to see, is it working? What is it doing? So we use CFD imagery or CFD modeling to, to, to show really what's happening as air moves across the space and it interacts with different temperatures and in, 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 in air within that space. CFD imagery, computational fluid dynamics, it's very highly credible. Um, GE uses it, uh, American Airlines Southwest, it's, it's highly credible in simulating the flow of fluids, Newtonium, non-Newtonium fluids, air in this particular space. So for this particular example, we're looking at thermal separation, correct? So as I, as I mentioned earlier, air curtains are an energy savings device. So this is a big box retailer we do business with. And 
there's a lot of boundary conditions. So this is just a snapshot in time. For those of you who are familiar with CFD imagery, there's a lot of tedious, arduous <laughs> manipulation that goes back. But I'm going to give you a, just a real quick overview. 70 degrees inside, that's my set point. That's my design temperature. It's 20 degrees outside. The building's under a neutral pressure. And that's one thing I just want to touch upon. Air curtains are, are, are very, very reactive to pressure delta in, 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 uh, within the space meaning a negative pressure inside that space the air curtain is not going to bode well depending on how how great that negative pressure is typically we we want to see that building neutral to slight positive okay so this building is under a neutral pressure there's an eight mile an hour wind load against the openings uh that's present 20 percent of the time and you can see here there's two dock doors 10 by 10 openings and then there's a vestibule there's two double doors on a vestibule on the on the on the front side um and you can see here as those doors open there's two ways outside air and can enter a space right we have natural convection which stack effect and then we have pressure delta due to either wind or again as i mentioned earlier pressure delta within the space so there's two ways outside air enters the space so when those doors are opening depending on how great that temperature delta is or how great that pressure delta is the greater amount of infiltration i'm going to have within that space so as you can see here you know those hot and cold spots throughout that around that opening that are mixing with that hot hot humid air okay you have a cold dry air entering the space and on the bottom it's, it's an up-close image of what's happening on the left-hand side without an air curtain, okay? So you can see hot, humid air, right, is trying to escape through the top. Hot air is light, right? Wants to get out through the top. And then you have that cold air uh, created from that vacuum effect, that buoyancy that's, that's dumping in through the bottom, okay? So the air curtain is about 80% effective. So if you put, picked up the ASHRAE handbook and you looked at the air curtain effectiveness, you would get a you would get a range, I should say, about sixty to eighty, and that range sixty to eighty is due to pressure delta, uh, it, 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 as I mentioned earlier, having an effect on the, the air curtain performance. Okay, and on the right hand side is it is a, is a snapshot up close image of the vestibule and how that space is really impacted by that 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 cold dry air mixing with that conditioned air. So you see temperatures through that thermal imaging bar on the uh, left-hand side, you see temperatures mixing, you know, 50s, high 50s, mid 50s, that's a problem. All right, well, uh, thanks for going over this for us, Chris. Uh, I know you guys also have some sort of ROI calculator to kind of run through, show the cost benefits on that. We put together an example here uh, these are some numbers that you actually looked up. And I mean, the, you know, this is a good example of what we would actually see from Mars if we were to do this ROI. Can you kind of just step everyone through this real quick? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it goes back to that, that CFD modeling. Okay. So doors close. What is the cost to reheat or recondition that space? Correct. So the back side of this ROI, which is the, the, based off of the volumetric flow rate formula, which I kind of just talked about, um, really looks at everything I just said, puts that into an ROI calculator and gives you uh, a very comprehensive ROI. So for this particular example, I ran it for Denver, Colorado. Obviously I used a dock door application 10 by 10, business operation 12 hours a day, that doors open 20% of the time, okay? five days a week, uh, wear season 26 months, uh, summer season 26 months. And this, this data you can change. So when you, if you go to marsair.com, the middle of the page, you see an ROI calculator, this is at your disposal. Uh, there's, no, there's no special uh, login, it, it, it's free for you to play with and I encourage you to do so. So this data is not manipulated, meaning it, it, it's not fit. So we take NOAA with weather bin data, which is indicated on the right-hand side. We try to look at that annually to make sure that's accurate. But again, if conditions need to change, you can change that. We take wind speed based off NOAA with weather bin data, which is allocated and in, in, in inputted on the right-hand side. And then we put the purchase cost of the air curtain, because that's obviously gonna affect the ROI as well. So you can see in this particular example, based off the conditions uh, that, that, that are set here, you're going to have an ROI slightly over, over two years, 
okay? And you can see here um, your, your dollar savings per year, 2,100, your KW savings in cooling, your, your MBT uh, to you in heating as well. Um, and there's various condition applications that you could run this ROI for. If, it, if it's a cold storage application, um, if it's an in interior separation, if it's just for heating, if it's just for cooling, that's all inputted and, and changed by the application on the, on the, the, the top uh, uh, drop down. So highly effective on the energy side, and you can see that air curtains are, are, are truly an energy savings device not just a fly fan, which we typically have been looked at and, and, and used for, although we do do a great job on that. We are an energy savings device and that's where our message is, it, it needs to resonate. All right, um, so there's also some space savings on top of the energy savings. Um, you know, we can eliminate the vestibule. I know um, space is a premium anywhere that you are inside a building. So if you can eliminate that additional space, you are gaining that, but also you touched on the energy efficiencies. Can you kind of just go over, you know, the different uh, IECCs and ASHRAE 90.1 uh, approvals yeah. that you guys have received? Absolutely, Jeff. So another benefit of the air curtain, um, we spent a lot of time and money. And as I mentioned earlier, we're very active, right? With change and, and air curtain awareness and education. Our VP of engineering sits on the board of uh, ASHRAE TC technical committee 5.3, the air curtain committee that reports up to 90.1. We spent a lot of time and money getting this approved. Air curtains is approved as an alternative to vestibules, okay? So first we had to work through IGCC 2015, we got the exemption. 2018, we were in IECC, but most you know, states and, and, and regions of the country may not be on 2018. And really ASHRAE 90.1 was the standard. We needed to get listed at, as 90.1, uh, you know, for, for, for obviously for code, code reasons and, and, and enforcement. So we are now listed as an alternative to vestibules in ASHRAE 90.1. There are a lot of exemptions. There are some exceptions, meaning climate zones, specific climate zones, space size, and, and, and Long and, and, my, and myself are here to provide you with any of that information if needed. But as a whole, climate zones three to nine, uh, uh, main entry door, space larger than, than uh, 3,000 square feet, dwelling space, air curtains can be used as an alternative to vestibules. So you have the energy saving side, you know, uh, because there's loss, there's loss with the vestibules. You know, there, there's typically two doors, sliding doors. If there's a high traffic area, both those doors are, could be open at the same time. So you have a lot of, lot, of, lot of loss through there. So we have several papers, energy savings papers, white papers that we have done uh, with, with third parties to show we're equally and possibly on the, on the area, the region of the country, more effective in preventing infiltration which a vestibule is designed and built for, then your standard vestibule. And then you, whole, then you have the whole space saving side and construction cost saving side. So there's the, this is a big win for us as an industry. It shows the credibility of an air curtain and, and really it brings value to those end users that don't have the space, uh, may not have the, the, the cost. Uh, and also again, for, for increased protection and penetration across that opening. Okay. So let's talk about the clean air uh, air series now. I'm just moving here, we gotta move along. Um, so you really, you have three different offerings here: the UVC, the HEPA C, and the air wash system. I know the air wash system is a newer one for you. Um, can you just briefly touch yeah. on the first two, and then we'll dive into that air wash system yeah. a little further? Pretty simple. Three new products. We have a UVC light incorporated into uh, our products. We have a HEPA filter for 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 increased filtration. And we have an air wash, which is we call our triple threat technology. So we utilize the UVC technology, the HEPA technology with a bipolar ionization, okay? It can be vertically mounted or top mounted. So we're eradicating any airborne pathogens now. Uh, we're really obviously with the conditions and outside environment that's happening around us, we needed a solution. We wanted to be part of that solution. And we derived these three products to combat and improve indoor air quality as well. Okay. Um, and then we do have a quick little cross comparison chart here that we're not going to dive into today during this presentation per se, but this is available. So 
if anyone needs us, please contact your local long representative. Um, the final thing we did want to touch on very quickly here is this simple link. This is a, another new item that uh, Mars has to offer. So this, uh, Chris, if you could quickly just talk about that. Digital controller makes the air current a lot more intuitive, similar to a Nest thermostat. It's, it's, it's a wireless, there's a router in there, wireless router with a QR code. It's a web browser based, it's not an app. You download that UR, uh, U, UR code, U, URL code, and, and you can see conditions inside. You can change those conditions from your smartphone or tablet. Um, and you can have obviously preset programs in there as well, making that air current a lot more intuitive. Perfect. All right. Well, that is the presentation for today. Um, so I appreciate everyone showing up. We are, we do have one last thing here that I know everyone's excited about. The most important part of the presentation is the giveaway. So we have three items today. We have a hundred dollar gift card to Kona grill. We have an umbrella hat and we have a unicorn nightlight. Uh, but just want to thank everyone again for their time and uh, really appreciate you showing up for our coffee break today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Have a good day.